Team exercise 126. The magic words. During this exercise, you tell the team to sit on one side of the room. You are in front of the group and tell them that there are magic words you can use when you want to sell things. It's all about saying a command without the customer consciously knowing you say the command. For example, you want to say the command you want to buy the premium subscription to our service. If you would just say this sentence, someone might think No, I don't want this. Why are you saying this? So what can you do to deliver the command You want to buy the premium subscription to our service without someone consciously hearing it? Tell them you can encapsulate the command in between other words or sentences so someone doesn't hear the sentence consciously but will hear it subconsciously. For example, you say to a customer, you can choose any option you want. To buy the premium subscription to our service is one of the options we offer. This way the customer will subconsciously hear the words, you want to buy the premium subscription to our service. But it won't be heard consciously, cause it's embedded in between the beginning and the end of two other sentences. Now let everyone think of a command themselves and of how to encapsulate the command in between sentences. Now you point to two people and let them sit in front of the group to roleplay a sales conversation. Person A will sell something to person B using a hidden command. Person B can respond as if he's a customer. In this case, I'm thinking of buying your product. I have this product myself as well and I highly recommend it. But of course, do whatever you feel like. Buying this product is something I never regretted. Now the audience can say if they heard what's being encapsulated. Great job, someone says. I heard you say the command, you feel like buying this product. Now another person says, make sure the pause between like and buying isn't too long. Because if it's too long, the subconscious of the buyer might not pick it up. And watch out with the word regretted, someone says. This is a negative word. Better say, buying this product is something I feel positive about. So the command feel positive will also be there. Now the roles switch and person B sells something to person A. I like the product, but I want to think about it before buying it. Sure, if you are more on the careful side of a person and decide to wait, that's fine. But if you want to buy it now, that's also possible. You said you were a moron when the buyer wanted to wait and think about it. It was embedded in between the words sure if and the careful side of a person. And then you said you want to buy it now. It was embedded in between the words but if and that's also possible. Go on until each duo has been in front of the group and has switched roles so everyone played around with the embedded sentences. You can also apply variations to this exercise. What kind of variations you can read below this video on YouTube. And haven't you subscribed yet? Hit the subscribe button and the alarm bell to stay tuned for a new team exercise each Sunday on youtube.com slash team exercises to improve cooperation and communication. And I wrote a book, 101 Team Building Exercises, a must have for everyone working with groups. Buy it now on Amazon.